For years, I wondered about the untapped potential of the human mind. We've all heard stories of a frail grandmother lifting a car weighing thousands of pounds to save a loved one or crash survivors who could withstand sub-freezing temperatures for days, or those who could remember the names and faces of hundreds or even thousands of people they'd only met once. How do they do it? And maybe the more important question to ask is why can't we use these powers on a daily basis to enhance our lives? In my clinical work and my private practice, I've spent the last 15 years of my life researching these and many other questions about the powers of the mind. And the results that I found are fascinating. And they all point to one thing, that there are forces and resources available to us that enable us to accomplish far more than we ever imagined possible. And the secret to releasing those resources lies in the powers of your inner mind. One of the most fundamental tenets of psychology is that you have both a conscious and a subconscious mind. The conscious mind is, of course, the part of your mind that you're aware of. You use it continually to think, to analyze, to solve problems, and to make decisions. But the conscious mind is just the tip of the iceberg because beneath it there is a much greater resource, the subconscious. The subconscious portion of your mind plays a different role. It stores all of the information that goes in through your conscious mind, housing all of the memories and knowledge that you have gained from the time of your birth. And with this information, the subconscious exerts a tremendous influence on your conscious behavior and actions. In fact, few people realize just how powerful that subconscious really is. William James, the father of American psychology, said that the power to move the world is in the subconscious mind. Most people think they're in conscious control of their life, but in reality, it is the subconscious mind, that huge reservoir beneath the surface that is the actual determiner of our life's destiny. From the time you were born, your mind began receiving input from those around you. Most of us greeted this world with bright lights and a lot of loud noise. Not exactly a warm and friendly way to greet a new arrival. And as we grew, we went on to be told that we couldn't do this or that, bombarded with negatives and limitations by almost everybody around us. No, Johnny, stop that. I told you before not to do that. When I say no, I mean no. Now don't you do that again. One researcher estimated that by the time we enter school, we've heard no 40,000 times. That's a lot of negative programming going into our subconscious minds. Early in our lives, we're very impressionable and strongly influenced by the attitudes and the beliefs of the people around us. This formed an image of ourselves in our subconscious mind, our self-image. We began seeing ourselves a certain way according to other people's expectations of us. Imagine there's a Little League baseball player who usually strikes out and now he's about to get up to bat. What kind of images are likely to be going through that child's mind? Is he thinking, this time I'm gonna hit a home run? No, of course not. This youngster has very little self-confidence because each time he gets up to bat, he's more scared than he was the time before. And that's why he usually does strike out. I understand that little boy because as a kid, I played on a little league team and I struck out every time but twice the entire season. One of those times was when the pitcher walked me to first base. My batting average was at the bottom of the list. Do you know how it felt to strike out? That sinking feeling of defeat. Did you ever experience being the last one picked for a team? Well, I did. I think we've all had similar examples in our lives. We may laugh about them now, but deep down they're still there. Specific moments of negative programming can add up and stay with you for the rest of your life. After that Little League season when I was eight years old, I never played baseball again, and it was a long time before I got over those feelings of failure. But now suppose someone had taken you or me aside when we were young and worked with us, putting positive thoughts and pictures in our minds. If instead of being afraid of striking out and failing, we had thoughts and feelings of knocking the hide off the ball, can you imagine the difference it would have made? Now, you would think that it's your conscious mind that's determining what's going on in your life, but it isn't. 
and that's why it's so hard to change habits. Have you ever tried to overcome a bad habit or change something in your life by making resolutions, exerting willpower, setting restrictions on yourself, rewarding yourself when you do well and so on, and yet you find that you just keep slipping back into those old ways? It's sort of like there's an automatic pilot that keeps bringing you back onto your old course. Think about those New Year's resolutions or maybe ones you made when you were on vacation. And then after a few weeks, you found yourself in the same old routine again. Why is that? Or what about the other ways that we try to change? Reading self-help books, listening to sermons, or attending seminars, or promises we make to our family or friends. These methods usually don't make lasting changes because they're not getting at the root of the problem that lies in the subconscious portion of the mind. So even though you're making every effort to change on a conscious level, you still haven't changed your subconscious program. And it's this master program that's exerting the strongest influence in your life. The subconscious works something like an automatic pilot on an airplane to guide and control your life. It holds you on a particular course until that course is changed. And if the autopilot is set for a course that takes it into the side of a mountain, that's where the plane is going. And if your subconscious is set on failure, you will fail. Conscious attempts to change the subconscious won't work any better than radio instructions from the control tower are going to change the course of that plane. Because by themselves, they just don't get through. If you want to change your life, you must change that master program in your automatic pilot, your subconscious mind. You must change your self-image. And the self-image is incredibly powerful. I remember my dad taking me to the circus when I was about 10 years old. And I saw this huge elephant tied with just a little rope. And I remember wondering, how is it possible that a 6,000 pound animal big enough and powerful enough to push down a whole house could possibly be held by such a little rope. Well, the reason for this is that when the elephant was small, it was tied very securely with a heavy chain to a large post. And of course the elephant would try to get away. But every time it got to the end of the chain, it was stopped in its tracks. And after tugging on that chain time and time again, the elephant became conditioned to the fact that it couldn't get away as long as its leg was bound. So after a while, it just gave up trying. And when this happened, then it was no longer necessary to tie it with a heavy chain to a large post. A small rope would do. The elephant believed that it couldn't get away. There was a limit set in its brain due to past conditioning. Is the limit valid? Well, of course not. We know it's ridiculous. But the elephant doesn't. It is limited as an adult because of a belief that was established in its mind as a baby. And it's the same with us. Let me tell you about an example of how changing a limiting belief can change what a person is able to accomplish. Back in the early 1950s, it was commonly accepted that it was physically impossible for a human being to run a mile in less than four minutes. No one had ever done it before and it was referred to as the four-minute barrier. Well, I still remember those headlines in the newspaper saying that at Oxford, on May 6th, 1954, a young man proved the whole world wrong when he ran a mile under four minutes and set a new world's record. Today, running a mile under four minutes is common, and it certainly doesn't make headlines. It's no longer referred to as the four-minute barrier either. So once it was proven that it could be done, a long-held belief was changed, and others began running the mile under four minutes. Let me give you another example of how changing a limiting belief can change what a person is able to accomplish. Before the mid-1970s, no human being had ever lifted 500 pounds overhead. The world's record was held by a Russian, and he'd come the closest, but he'd never been able to break that 500-pound mark. Well, for one important competition, his trainers told him that he would be lifting a weight that he knew that he could lift because he'd lifted it before, 499.9 pounds, and he did it. And then it was discovered that the trainers deceived him about the weight that he had actually lifted. He lifted 500 and a half pounds and set a new world's record. Well, what his trainers did 
was they purposely told him to do something that he already knew he could do. And they had erased a limitation that had been embedded not only in his mind, but also in the mind of all the other weightlifters. And the 500 pound barrier was broken forever. An elephant is chained because of its master program. A weightlifter's performance improves because of what he believes. All of these amazing examples show how the subconscious mind controls our lives. But how can we harness the power of the subconscious mind to get what we want? How can our minds help us instead of hinder us to make our life better? The answer is contained in a series of tapes developed and tested through years of research at the Gateways Research Institute. Our library of 34 cassettes contains the tools you need to reprogram your mind for success in virtually every area of your life. These tapes help you use the four most powerful methods for reaching the subconscious. Visualization, relaxation, subliminal communication, and mind talk. Let's cover each of these areas in depth, starting with visualization. It's one of the most powerful ways to reach and change the subconscious mind. Have you ever had a dream that seems so real that you woke up and wondered if it was really just a dream? Well, what research has discovered is the subconscious doesn't even discern between what's actually happening to you in real life and what you vividly imagine. The power of visualization was illustrated in an experiment at the University of Chicago. Students all with about the same ability in basketball were divided up into three groups and asked to shoot foul shots. The percentage of baskets that each team made was then recorded. The first group was told not to practice or play basketball at all for 30 days. The second group was told to practice shooting foul shots every day for one hour for 30 days. And the third group was told not to go on a basketball court at all for 30 days, but to practice shooting foul shots in their mind for one hour each day. Well, at the end of the 30 days, there were some very interesting results. As you would expect, group one, who hadn't practiced at all, made no improvements over their original percentage of baskets made. Group two, the group that actually practiced, had improved their performance by 24%. And group three, who hadn't even set foot on a basketball court, but only imagined shooting baskets in their mind, improved their performance by a phenomenal 23%, almost the same improvement as the group who had actually played basketball. Why did this happen? Because the subconscious mind can't tell the difference between what is real and what is imagined. To the subconscious, playing basketball or just imagining playing basketball was virtually the same thing, with the same results. Visualizing what you want your life to be is so powerful that if it's done properly, the subconscious mind will actually bring it about in your life. And that's why the Gateways Research Program includes 17 guided visualization sessions. They teach you the correct way to utilize this powerful technique, leading you step by step through visualization procedures that will change your subconscious and charge it with a strong, confident self-image and a totally positive mindset. Through Jonathan's visualization techniques, I have created a new person. If, if you saw me before, you wouldn't think I was the same person. I knew that if you ever learned how to program your subconscious mind, you would be able to uh, handle feats that you could never touch no other way. I don't think there's anything that'll beat them. I've never heard of any that would touch uh, uh, these tapes because it gives you so much positive uh, thought, so much positive action that you can take in, in every kind of situation. The tapes work for those people and they can work for you. But when visualization is teamed up with relaxation, the second method to reprogram the subconscious, the results can be even more amazing. Relaxation techniques work on both the mind and the body. And most importantly, they act as the gateway to the subconscious. They've been the subject of literally hundreds of studies in professional journals. For instance, using relaxation techniques, the University of Iowa found that students learn Spanish three times faster than by conventional teaching. And another test group learned computer language seven times faster than before. It's important to remember that these results weren't achieved by what we usually think of as relaxation, such as reading a book or watching a movie or talking with friends. 
These were special structured relaxation sessions. They included special music, breathing techniques, and guided the participant toward positive imagery. This kind of structure is included in the 27 guided relaxation sessions found in the Gateways program. They can help you remove the roadblocks that hold you back. With these tapes, you can create prosperity and success in your life, develop better business skills and become a successful achiever, release more creativity and imagination, dissolve stress, one of the biggest killers in America, develop high self-esteem and self-confidence, attract positive and loving relationships into your life, become a happy, fulfilled person, and just plain get more out of life. I've just experienced marvelous changes, but I think that the materials that I have uh, viewed from the Institute are extremely, have been the most helpful for me. They have not only helped me, but I have purchased them as presents for birthday presents for some dear friends. And I've just seen too many people benefit so greatly in such a short period of time. To me, it's the highest quality production I've found. The word subliminal means below the level of conscious awareness or the threshold of consciousness. In other words, you don't consciously see or hear it, and yet it registers in your subconscious mind. The public first became aware of subliminal techniques in the late 1950s, when the subliminal messages, eat popcorn and drink Coca-Cola, were flashed on a movie screen for only a fraction of a second between the frames of the 1956 movie Picnic. Although the audience never remembered seeing these messages, a 58% increase in popcorn and cola sales attested to their effectiveness. Let me show you how that was done. While you're watching this short sequence, we're flashing some words on the screen. If you're videotaping this, you can play it back later frame by frame and you'll see the words subliminal communication. Even though your conscious mind didn't see it, hundreds of research studies prove that your subconscious mind did. Now I'll play that same scene for you again, but this time I'll stop the film so you can see the message. There it is. Well, because subliminal messages were found to work so powerfully, the FCC, the Federal Communications Commission, and the National Association of Broadcasters barred their use in advertising back in 1958. In the 1970s, many stores began using subliminal messages in their music systems to reduce shoplifting and employee theft. Today, subliminal tapes are being used by government agencies, businesses, hospitals, physicians, prisons, to improve conditions in almost every area of life. And they're also being used by ordinary people like you and me. Because Gateways Institute has made subliminal power available to individuals to help you make your life fuller and richer. The tapes have just changed me. They're phenomenal. Rather than going to classes, courses, psychologists, his tapes, they're the quickest way. They represent to me, I feel like I have the wealth of the universe with this set of tapes. This is exactly how I feel about them. Our fourth tool for reprogramming the subconscious is called mind talk or self-talk. It's what you say to yourself in your own mind. And these self-statements, which are said or thought on a conscious level, are heard by the subconscious. If you say them often enough, they also work as programming for the subconscious. Most people say negative self-statements so much of the time without really even being aware of it. I can never remember anything. Something can go wrong at will. It isn't easy to lose weight. Just my luck. I can't quit smoking. I don't have enough money. All of us say these type of things all the time. But when they're repeated over and over again, they make an impression on the subconscious mind. An impression that makes these statements self-fulfilling prophecies. The Gateways program includes special tapes filled with positive instead of negative self-statements. And listening to these tapes just a little while each day helps you to reprogram yourself for success in your personal relationships, your job, your financial affairs, your self-confidence, virtually every area of your life. But the Gateways Mind Talk tapes are more than just positive conscious statements. They also have a subliminal background composed of music and subliminal statements that are designed to help you absorb their messages even faster and better. 
Just listen to what these tapes have done. Johnson's tapes have taken me from being a victim, an unhappy person, into a person who's living a very full, exciting life, a person who's in charge and uh, isn't afraid. It seems that I'm attracting the people into my life that I need for the prosperity, the wealth, the, the health, the, the joy, and I, I stay happy. If anybody is in sales, I recommend it highly. I noticed a difference right away. The next month, I did double what I had done the previous four or possibly five months. It was instant, I'd say within a week, uh, less than a week. Almost right away, I noticed the difference. I've just skyrocketed with success with it, which is phenomenal. Just think about how much those tapes can help you. And think what this would mean, not just for yourself, but also for your children or children you love. These tapes are the most valuable gift you could ever give your children because a positive self-image means the difference between a happy, fulfilling, successful life on the one hand and frustration and failure on the other. One of the fantastic advantages of Jonathan's material is the fact that he hasn't excluded children. It's helped me to get along with people, to talk more. I used to be more shy, but now I've feel more confident about myself. I never used to get good grades. It helps me to work harder. I I try hard in school. I want to I want to get the good grades and I get them. A mind is our greatest resource. It's the connecting link between our dreams and desires and our attaining them. And I truly would like to see life be the best it can be for you. You deserve it. You really do. So do something for yourself. Invest in yourself. It's the best investment you could ever make. In this program, you've seen how people are using the subconscious mind to get more of what they want out of life. Now you can do the same. Plus, get these four subliminal tapes designed to enrich your life. They're yours absolutely free to help you get started with the Mind Power Library from the Gateways Research Institute. It includes two best-selling self-improvement courses, Build a Winning Self-Image and The Prosperity Solution. These 34 cassettes can be the beginning of a new, happier, healthier, and wealthier life for you and everyone in your family. Designed and narrated by Dr. Jonathan Parker, one of the country's leading experts on the hidden powers of the mind, these courses contain in full detail and in an easy-to-follow guided format the incredibly powerful principle and techniques shown in this program. They represent the most effective methods ever developed for reprogramming the subconscious for success. There are 34 tapes in all. These tapes will help you to achieve what you really want in life. Make the kind of money you've always wanted. Obtain goals you may have never believed possible. Develop high self-esteem and super self-confidence. Reduce stress and have more peace of mind. Become the person you've always wanted to be. Become an achiever and eliminate procrastination forever. Think creatively to add exciting new dimensions to your life and career, and much, much more. The tapes contain the highly powerful visualization, relaxation, and mind talk techniques shown in this program. Plus, there are the subliminal communication tapes that contain thousands of subliminal statements. Statements that you can't consciously hear, but that go to work directly on your subconscious mind. You can listen to these tapes anytime, when you first wake up or when getting ready for work, at lunchtime or when working at home, or even when you go to sleep. The tapes are especially vital for children and teenagers who are forming that all-important self-image, which will make the difference between success and failure in school and in life. In all, there are 34 tapes designed to help you transform yourself into the person you want to be. They take you step by step through techniques that take as little as 10 minutes a day, but that give you a lifetime of benefit. The cost for the complete Mind Power Library, both best-selling courses, is just $299. That's less than $1 a day to make every day of the year fuller and more satisfying than you ever imagined for you and every member of your family. For a limited time only, viewers of this program will receive a special bonus when they purchase the Mind Power Library. You'll receive these four additional subliminal tapes, a $50 value absolutely free. They cover attracting harmony and happiness, success for children, stress reduction, and creativity. You'll get 38 tapes in all for just $299. The Mind Power Library is already working for thousands of people across the country. 
the tapes have proved to be so effective that the Gateways Research Institute offers them to you with this unconditional money-back guarantee. Use the tapes for 30 days. If you don't feel they benefit your life, just send them back for a full refund. Remember, you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. A better, happier, more successful life is waiting for you now. So pick up the phone and order today. In Canada or in the USA, call 1-800-351-5300. Have Visa or MasterCard number ready. Or send check or money order for $299 plus $5 shipping to the Mind Power Library, Gateways Research Institute, Post Office Box 41, Ojai, California, 93023. That's $299 plus $5 in U.S. funds. Remember, the Mind Power Library comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Order now. In Canada or in the USA, call 1-800-351-5300. I couldn't afford the tapes, <laughs> but it turned out to be the best investment that I, monetary investment that I'd ever made, and they helped me in every different aspect of my life. I can't tell you what a difference it made because it put me in control of my life for a change. Well, everyone cares for someone, and I would say that one of the nicest things, if not the nicest thing that you could ever do for a person you cared for is to share Jonathan Parker's tapes with him. Why are people switching to News 4 Buffalo? Because I think Carol and Bob